boy, Young O.B., coming at you with another review for today. It's actually two shoes. I just want to do something special for my favorite team, uh, my favorite player of all time, um, with a lot of y'all being over. And, you know, they're going to go ahead and go into negotiations again just to uh, iron out all the details. It should be over within the next couple of days. I just want to bring these out, show you guys um, my favorite player's shoes and my favorite shoes from this player. So let's go ahead and get into it. We have two pickups here. And the first one here, we have the Zoom Kobe 2, the Strength, and then we have the Zoom Kobe 4. And in both colorway, this, the 2s are a black, black, white, and grape ice. And then we have a white, black, and varsity purple. So let's go ahead and get into the 4s. This is actually my favorite shoe from the player and my favorite colorway from this player, from the Kobe's. Favorite player of all time. Though I, I collect a lot of Jordans, I am a huge Kobe fan, and these are, like I said, my favorite Kobe shoes of all time so far, and my favorite colorway of the shoe. So, go ahead and get into it. I have a 360 review here for you guys, and on the back there, get into the review. These are also known as the inlines. And they are so clean. I'm in love with these shoes. It's the first time I've seen them. Um, go ahead and get into it. On the toe box, going up into the first two eyelets, we have a patent leather in white. Then we have the white fly wire. Goes up the whole mid panel of the shoe. Wraps up right into the heel. We have a black fly wire embossed with a Nike sign with the purple outline going around it. Looks pretty clean. On the heel cup there, we have a black heel cup. It has a little bit of that reptile print. Kobe's also known as the Black Mamba, which is what is supposed to be one of the most deadliest reptiles known to man. And Kobe is deadly on the court. And you have that there. And the heel cup there is in shiny leather as well. Patent leather, I think. Or hard plastic, I'm sorry. Hard plastic. The Right around the ankle and the upper there, we have a white patent leather, same as on the toe box. I'm sorry, the toe area. And that goes in there. And then we have the fly wire, same thing on the inside of the shoe. And we have a white leather, pretty smooth, on the toe box there. On the tongue, we have a white mesh. goes all the way up the shoe. And then we get to the tongue, the top of the tongue. It has the white patent leather. And it's pretty, like, speckled. It has, like... Uh, glitter inside of there. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see if we can get into the light. Maybe you can see a little better. Yeah, you kind of can see it. It's kind of hard to see. It's like a, a pearless, pearlist, uh color on the white, like on cars. It's a pretty nice, nice touch to the shoe. I don't know what I'll say to right now. Then we have the Kobe logo there in purple. And then the laces is the black with the uh, purple specks going through it. Pretty nice. On the sole, we have let's see that purple varsity purple going through it with the black hits there. We have the carbon fiber shank plate there, and some of that purple and black as well. And then on the midsole, we have a white midsole there. It goes to most of the shoes. Then on the toe box, we have a purple and more of that white midsole there. So that's that. Those are the Kobe 4s. Stop those right there. And then we get into the Kobe 2 strength. Box is beat up. It is what it is. I bought these off somebody for like 100 bucks. Maybe it was 80. I think maybe it's 80. And these are whew, clean right here. He said he used them to ball in, and I do the same. 360 view for these guys. Sorry for the video is kind of long, but these are two shoes. So I just wanted to do a review on these, seeing that the lockout is coming up. It's actually going to be over with very soon. And I'm getting ready for the Lakers season. Hopefully, we can do something big this year. Go ahead and drop those off. Get into the review on this one. On the toe box here, we have a white patent leather, or I'm sorry, black patent leather. Very, very, very reminiscent to the uh, Air Jordan 16s. We have uh, black leather 
like smooth leather there. And then the straps, we have like a tumbled leather, very good material. Same black leather again. And then on the another strap, we have the tumble leather as well. And this one, it's actually a really nice touch to it, if you can tell. On the first strap there, it has uh, two little notches right there for two. And then on this one, it has four notches for the four to 24. Then we have the 24 Kobe logo there. Very nice. And then we have the actual official Kobe logo there. And then on the going to the back of the shoe, we have a white leather with a black swoosh embossed in there. Nice, it sits up a little bit, it raises out, there's a little layer to it. But it's really nice. Nice and shiny there for you. That wraps around the whole shoe. And then on the back we have the Kobe logo again. And more of that Nike sign. On the midsole. We have on the toe box there, we have white. Then we have that, that purple ice color going around the whole midsole there. Goes up there and back to the white again. And right above that, we have like a black patent leather. Goes around the whole shoe there. And on the sole, we have the Zoom Air Kobe right there. It says Zoom, Nike Zoom. White with the hints of purple, and then we have the four on this one. And this one we have the two. Twenty-four. Nice. And on the insole there, we have the inner sock booty there, sock lining. Makes it for a real snug fit. I didn't get into that on the fours. I'm just going to do that for you guys real fast. This one says twenty KB there and 24 there. They had that varsity purple with uh, black stripes going through it. Black stripes going through that one. So again, sorry for the long video, guys, but just wanted to show these off to you guys. And that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about these. All right.